Hello guys. So in this video, I will be solving uh, this question. Uh, it's from the topic uh, energy convergence. So we have a spring mass system uh, and an incline path. So uh, the spring has the spring constant k. Uh, this cube uh, block has mass m. Uh, here we have the angle alpha uh, and the spring is compressed by x meters. So the question asks us to find the speed of the block when it leaves the spring and how far does the block travel up in the incline. So uh, let's start with part A. Uh, for this part, uh, since there is no friction, uh, we will write the initial energy and set it equal to the final energy. Uh, let's write it like this, energy initial, let's directly write it. Uh, the spring's potential energy is 1 over 2. 1 over 2 uh, k x square uh, this is the initial energy is equal to the final energy here in this case the final energy is when it leaves the spring so uh, it's the kinetic energy that the object has and that is uh, shown as 1 over 2 uh, mv squared. Final energy for part A. Because in part B we will have a different final energy. So 1 over 2 is cancelled. We obtain v square as kx square over m and v is equal to kx square over m in square root this is the answer for part a so uh, the point here is that the energy is conserved uh, so let's move on to part b how far does the block travel to uh, to up uh, in the incline. Uh, so let's assume that it travels up by L. Uh, we can write the height here as L times sine alpha. L times sine alpha. H is equal to L times sine alpha. So, uh, if you write the initial energy again, 1 over 2 k x square, and make it equal to the final energy, which is the uh, potential energy now, uh, the gravity, gravitational potential energy. So, m g h. Now we want to find uh, h uh, actually, we want to find L, so uh, we know that H is expressed as this, so we can replace H with that. Uh, 1 over 2 k x squared is equal to m g and H, L sine alpha, L sine alpha. Now we can find L. L is equal to k a square over 2 m g sine alpha. Let's check. L is equal to 1 over 2 k a square m g sine alpha. Yes. 
this is our final answer for uh, the distance it travels up to the incline. So, in both parts, our main point is the conservation of energy. So, we initially have a uh, spring potential energy here. Then, for part A, uh, we calculate its conversion to kinetic energy. And for part B, we calculate its conversion into uh, potential energy uh, because of its height. So, uh, this is all for this question. Thank you for listening.